X-ray 734 ground. 532, same trap. Possible kidnapping and barricaded suspect at 184. So we're gonna route that way real quick. Might actually step it up. Let's get through some of this traffic. Get down here on Innocence and then we should be able to just scoop pretty much straight over. From here. Don't know what you're doing. What are you doing, dude? Just go right. You moron. These locals have zero clue about life. We're not too far away now. If traffic... See, what are you doing with your life, dude? What a moron. Literal moron. Metro 535 is 1097. Metro 444, safe traffic. It's like gonna be one of these houses. Might go ahead and open our trunk up. Let's enter the steer one ten and seven. We might grab a vest. Might grab a vest because I don't like the look of this. X ray seven thirty four ninety seven. Same traffic. Barricaded suspects. Ugh. All right, Glock. I'm going to put that on there. Is it going shot? Shut my trunk, please. Uh, trunk. Um, looks like... We got K9. 444 to Metro units on scene. Do we know what uh, house it was? 535, I believe it was a green building. I'm right out the front of a green building down here. It's got a lot of security cameras and stuff. They probably already know we're here. from the last traffic stop. I'm going to be 1050 with another one, 1032, West Emmondale. Hey, Kim. Yeah. Um, oh, you got the dog good. Yeah, yeah. You want me to try and get him out? Um, I was thinking we could try and ring him first and see if we can get anyone to pick up the phone. See what they want and what's going on in there and then try and figure out what room they're in and stuff and make sure we're definitely in front of the right house. I'm just gonna ring dispatch real quick. I 
Hey, dispatch, uh, Detective Reed, badge 535. We have to get a patched phone into a green building, 184 Armadillo what? Ave, Elbero Heights. Where's it going? Yeah, can you get us a, a phone number for that residence and then tap me in? Yeah, copy. Alright, I got a number, I'm gonna try and ring him. Telling. Hello, this is Detective Reed with the LSPD. Oh. My phone hung up. What the fuck? Trying to turn my radio down. Ah, uh, sorry about that. What do you want? This is Detective Reed with the LSPD. Um, you want to tell me what's going on inside the residence? Nothing's going on inside the residence. Nothing. Nothing at all. Nothing, okay. Nothing. Well, mm. what, what's your name? I am the great Vaul of the great god Sahil. Right, what's what's your real name, sir? I'm Detective Reed, James Reed. Okay, you know my name. My name is Vaul de Serhand. 535, he's saying his name is Varuz Sahil or something. Alright, um... Have you, have you got someone inside the residence with you, sir? Why does that matter to you? 312 can run that name if you need me to. Detective. Uh, well, sir, we had a known one call saying someone was brandishing a firearm and pushed somebody inside and took a hostage. That's why we're all out here, okay? What? I would never. You would never do that, okay. This is Tahiti's doing. This is Tahiti's doing. I knew it. His spawns are after me. I must stop it. I must begin the ritual. All right. Sir, do you want to just put your hands up? Sir, do you want to just put your hands up and come outside and we can just have a chat about it? coming. Detective. Yes, I'm still here. Bad things coming to this city. Right, well, sir, if you just come out with your hands on your head, we can sort this out. And we can talk about the bad things that are coming to the city. <laughs> what the fuck? Are you willing to take responsibility? Uh, we're willing to take all the responsibility if you just come outside with your hands up. And we can just talk about this. We'll take all the responsibility in the world. I'll ask him. I'll see what he wants. 535, I believe it's occupied time. Liam. Two. The individual I'm on the phone Would with you like to go with the nicely nice detective? It's only about doing a ritual. You will be responsible for the death of many people if Tahiti is exposed to our world. Mm. So, sir, it's it, I'm still here. If you're are, are you guys to take are you, it. Are you gonna come out with your hands on your head, or what's happening here, sir? County one eight seven. Are you willing eight. to accept the death of innocent people? Ah, uh, sir, I'm just getting a phone call. Just give me one second. Okay. Channel switched. All right. Sorry about that, sir. My, my phone was ringing from a colleague. Um, so you're going to come out with your hands on your head and we can just chat about the rituals and all that? Because I'm pretty interested to learn about this stuff, to be honest. Very well. Have it your way, mortal. You're coming out, are you, sir? Liam, go. Out. 535. I believe they're releasing the hostage. Run! For His name's my Liam. fucking mind. All right, that that was a good thing to do, sir. That was that's a very good first step. Hands okay? up. <clears throat> now, this is what I want you to do, okay? I want you to stay on the phone, but I want you to slowly walk outside, okay? And keep your hands, you know, where we can see them, okay? And no one will shoot you. Just come out with your hands, one on your phone, and your other hand by your side, okay? 
Very well. 535, 444 direct. Was that the only hostage? Uh, I believe so. He's coming out now. He'll have one phone on his... He'll have one hand in the phone and his other hand will be by his side. Alright. So just slowly come out the front door. With... Like I just said, okay? Are you there, sir? I see. Yes, I okay. can hear you. I'm gonna slowly walk out here, okay? You can see me. I'm gonna walk out to the front. I've... I'm the one on the phone, okay? I'm gonna drop the phone and we'll talk without the phone, okay? Very well. Okay. Sir, can you hear me? Sir, can you hear me? Hello? Sir, face the residence. Face away from us. Hello? Can you hear me, sir? You wanted to slowly move up on me? Just be careful. Yeah, go ahead. I'll, I'll, I have your six. Alright, face away, sir. Dude, if you make any movements, you're gonna get shot. Face away, towards the residence. Sir, are you hard of hearing? Hey, if you want to go and signal maybe for him to turn around, or if you just want to, I mean, I don't know if it's really necessary, you can just go and cuff him, but if you want to, like, kind of twirl your finger or something. So, go ahead and turn around. Yes. Okay, you can, you can talk now, good. Alright, there you go. Alright. Don't move, don't move, okay? 10-4. Is there anybody else inside the residence? No. Alright, follow me. We're gonna go over here and we're gonna clear One, three, the house, 15. okay? If I could have a unit or two, you, my six, two. Come this way, sir. Come Make this way. Three. This mutt reeks of Tahiti. I'll clear the exterior if you guys want to do the... Los Santos Police, way, Police so. Department, Police if you're Department. in, pronounce yourself K9... You got anything on you, sir, that can stick, poke, or hurt me, or anything like that? I have a taser in my pocket. You have a taser, okay. Right, I'm gonna take the taser, okay, for now. Clear. Exterior of the house is clear. Right. right. I'm just gonna check this pocket in front of you, okay? Looks like you got some nice zippers there. Mm, nothing in that one. Alright, follow me, sir. Come this way. <laughs> sir, are you wearing a mask? Me? Yeah, go ahead and take a seat right there. Take a seat. Are you wearing, is this a mask or some makeup or something that you're wearing, sir? No. I ripped it apart a few months ago. You ripped For what? the great god's tail. What did you rip apart, My sir? My skin. My skin. You ripped your skin apart? For, for the who? Yes. The great god Sahil. Who's that? Sounds like an idiot. A moron, even. You're not wrong, but he is a god. <laughs> I'm not wrong. Right, okay. Alright, just stay right there and don't move, okay? What was the name on the ID? Vahal? Vahal?
author of Dark Magic Craft. Then he's screwed. Wow. You also said detective. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for that. That was a good job. Appreciate it. No problem. All right. So the great god of Sahel, sir. Where whereabouts does he live? A dimension of which you could never comprehend. Right, okay. Well, I, I, I will admit I'm struggling to comprehend what's going on right now, so yes, you're probably correct. I do not blame you. It is complex. Not everyone has the power to understand such celestial inquiries. Hang on. Can you say that again, that first word? That was a very big word. I just need to write it down. Hmm. <clears throat> You mock me. No, I, I'm legitimately. Did you say asking. something about my dog smelling? Um, yeah, and she, and something about the great god of Sahil and. Tell tell her Sahil. what you told me. Tell her what you told me. You just tell her. The great god Sahil demanded that I take Tahiti's prophet and kill him. Bad things are coming to this city. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh oh. Okay. Like what? Death. Death. Okay, that's... Alright, that's all you got? Yes. This detective not... said he would take responsibility for Tahiti. It is no longer oh. in my control. Okay. And the great... The great god Sahil demands this? <laughs> what the... Yes. <laughs> what the fuck? Well, something tells me that the great god Sahil ha has an ego big enough. He doesn't need, you know, this. Perhaps you are right, but I do not argue with gods. So, so again, what happened to your ma your face there? Like your mouth is like got a whole heap of black. Is that where you said you tore your skin? Yes. And and how exactly did you do that? With a razor blade, for the ritual of truth. Right. Do you have any eyeballs? And sir? and Sahil and Sahil told you to do this. Yes, it is written in the manuscript. Right. What manuscript is that? Look at this guy's outfit. The great god Sahil's manuscript. Yeah, but does it have a name, or is it just? Or is it just manuscript? Like, is it sitting on the table and it just says manuscript? It's called Saivontu. I want. I want to what? Saivontu. Yeah, yeah. I want to what? What do you want to do? Nothing. Sir, uh, back to my question. Do you have eyeballs? I do. Oh, you can actually see me? Because it's like, I look at you and it's all just black. It's like darkness. It's like someone cut your eyes out. But you just blink a lot. No. The great god Sahil told me to get this. For I can see in the night and see the darkness that lurks. So, so let me get this straight. The great god Sahil told you to go on a hot topic... <laughs> And get black Here, contact to lenses to put in your eyes. They are not contact lenses. They are a solution that were put into my eyes. It's yeah. They're them called they're called contacts. They're little things that you go to the store, like Hot Topic, and you buy. What is this Hot Topic? Is it the seventh it's where you ring went, of hell? It's where you went what to get that black fuck? makeup on your face and those <laughs> weird leather boots. <laughs> Weird. You do not understand. Mortal is beyond your brain. <laughs> uh, this is great. Well, I guess the he'll probably okay. get an insanity plea. Yeah, I, I, I mean, maybe. <laughs> At least you got to do a little more research into this uh, great god of Sahil. Sounds like an asshole. He does. Doesn't sound like someone I'd listen to.
So, sir, what about this? Uh, what about this great god of Sahil? So appealing to you. <laughs> god of Sahil. He spoke to me in a dream once. He showed me. How god. Gotcha. Okay, that should be enough for now, Liam. Uh, just go ahead. Uh, do you need do you need any medical treatment at all? Did he um, any sort of injuries you think you might have or? He did tase me, but he he, he tased you. No, that's horrible. He tased me at the station. That's horrible. at the station. Oh. I thought he just threatened you with it. I'm sorry. Uh, so he so he ran the he ran the car into the fire station and then. When, when he was threatening you with the taser, he, he threatened to tase you? He threw the taser me and then he did tase me. Did, was it, did he like make con, did, did the taser make contact with the taser? Like, was it like a dry or was it like the projectile, like, you know, no, he, springs come he out? Shot me. No, he got me with the, with the prongs. Okay. Did the prongs. Okay. Metro X ray 734, need 1070. Correction, 1071. 184, I'm real of this. Sir, was the gentleman down there the mumbling and going on about the great god of Sahel to you? Yes. Saying that was their war or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A detective? Yeah, sure. Uh, what's, what's Liam got to say? So Liam's saying, um, she lives up in the, sorry, he lives up in the county, um, she is a, he, it's a firefighter, uh, down at, um, uh, Station 8 over there, Mirror and Capital, um, she was, uh, he was about to go on shift, and, um, the, uh, th this dude, um, you know, the nutcase you're talking to, uh, drives his car and rams it into one of the fire truck bays, uh, threatens and tases them with a taser, and uh, basically forces them into the uh, into his car. He then drove here from the fire station, um, going on about how he needs to cleanse him, and otherwise uh, cleanse them uh, to fulfill the prophecy. Um, so he forced them into his house, got him into the back room, and then uh, threatened to um, basically skin him alive to fulfill the prophecy but uh he never got around to that because he was looking for the knife and then uh, i guess you made the phone call to him yeah apparently it's all over and the great uh... god of sahel and some mumbo jumbo and um his name's vahal just yeah i don't know how he, i don't even know he's gonna he's probably gonna cop an insanity to be honest yeah, i mean as long as he's on the, uh, as long as he's off the streets i mean that's that's probably the most important thing yeah, right now yeah yeah yeah, he's talking uh, about doing but, uh, his, you know, Yeah, he's off his rocker, this guy. You should go and have a chat to him. He's a great yeah, the, guy. No, I don't I think that's alright. I think I will um count my lucky stars and I got to talk to the victim instead. Mm. How'd you go with him, LT? Was he uh, so you know, good to go? Yeah, yeah, so he I mean he's pretty quiet. did you Mirandize him? No. I, I, I don't even know what to arrest him with at the moment because he keeps going on about the great goddess of Helen. That's just a yeah, well, I mean, he's going to be sent to a psych ward for a 72-hour hold, and then uh, he'll probably be transferred. Um, I mean, more than likely, he'll have to stay in the psych ward, but if he clears the psych ward, then he'll be transferred to uh, Bolingbrook. But, um, yeah, he keeps going on and on about this uh, great god Sahil or something. I don't know. I've, I've never heard of it before. Um, and uh, But he says that this this guy was prophesized to be chosen for this sacrifice and he picked him up at the uh, at a fire station off a of capital uh, tased him put him in his uh, put him in his car and then drove him uh, back here but I guess he I guess he lives here at this house yeah <laughs> interesting so uh, I didn't uh, I didn't Mirandize him yet so he'll you probably want to Mirandize him. Um, I just wasn't sure if you did. No, no. I think he'll. I think he'll be right. 
Yeah, I don't know if he's even. I don't know if he's even able to comprehend exactly. what a Miranda warning exactly. might entail. So you probably don't have to worry about it. He couldn't even comprehend turning okay. around. Well, yeah. So I mean, yeah, that one might go a little above his head. Yeah, I guess we would. Uh, I guess then at that point we'll exercise our rights in Baker Acton, and then um, yeah, he'll have to go for a psych hold. Yeah, until he gets out and tries to skin someone else for the great god of Sahil. And uh, this one will probably yeah. get him off the streets for a little while, but yeah, you're right. Yeah, a little while at least. Should look into his eyes, Detective Von Lincoln. It's like all black. There's like nothing there. No, no, not interested. Mm. Very yeah. not interested. <laughs> it's a little creepy, to be honest. He's like, I, so this is this is him. Yeah, he's, he's off his rocker. So this, what is this he, his uh, house? How did he? How did he get a house? Is this like I, I don't know. Like, or... Yeah, I, I I have no idea. Um, what did the uh, what did the victim say? Basically. Uh, she's going to work at the fire station. They, um, they're just about to start shift. The dude rams his car through the fire truck bay, uh, tases him, gets him in the car, drives him here, and then, um, gets him in the back room and says that, um, uh, they need to be cleansed, uh, to fulfill the prophecy. Hmm. And he was looking for a knife to, um, I guess, uh, start slicing and dicing before we got here. Incredible. So yeah, that's um. If we got here like ten minutes later, we could have been having roast human or something on the menu. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, this guy was gonna, this guy was gonna fillet this guy. I mean, he was gonna skin him. Windows open, you know. So. <laughs> mm, all right, I'll go and chat with Mister Bahil, God of Sahil, etc., etc. All right. All right. Go and get some more mumbo jumbo. Is he in my car? Sir, so go ahead and step out. On the other side before you grab one of my guns and shoot me. Detective, you need anything from me? Uh. No, thanks. I think this is pretty open and shut. I'll have a bit more of a chat with Mr. Okay. Goddess of Hell and go from there. Okay. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to clear off. Yep. All right, Bahal. Whatever your name was, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say or do may and will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford one, one will be appointed to you by the state of San Andreas. Do you understand these rights? Yes. Metro 444, we're going to be back uh, 10-8. Alright. We're going to drop you off at the medical center where you'll, with, you'll go for a psych evaluation and then you'll be picked up by a uniform and brought down to booking if you're cleared and stuff like that. Do you understand? I do. It would appear to me that you're very mentally challenged, sir. <clears throat> That's a horrible assessment, but the things you will see, the one who bears the responsibility of taking on Tahiti, it's not easy. Who, who is Tahiti? He's an evil spirit, born from the depths of chaos and damnation. Oh, that's terrible. Indeed it is. 